so I've been trying to figure out how to actually make my code more distributable so that other developers can use the same solution as me and perhaps make it even better. I figured that the PyPy distribution with Python code is one of the best forms of distribution. Hence, the Python package I built and I'm looking forward to distribute is the updating of the number of likes, dislikes, like to dislike ratio, and timestamp of update. In fact, I already have an entire series describing the individual components of what goes into this package located right here if you're interested to see what is the technical background for this particular module. Firstly, all of your source modules need to be under one folder. You can consider this to be the root directory for your imported packages. Each folder needs an init.py file to ensure that each module can be imported. These imports are importing the submodules in the current directory, and I'll be covering the versioning stuff later in this video. Secondly, each one of your modules will ideally be object-oriented, meaning that there should be classes. However, having functions will be sufficient, and in this case, all of my modules are object-oriented. This makes my code easier to read and follow, especially for developers who are unfamiliar with my logic and are looking to contribute. And lastly, I'm also going to include a command line interface component as part of this distribution. Although this is not super necessary for code distribution, this component will make the lives of the intended users so much easier, at least for my code. They wouldn't even need an intensive coding background. The CLI uses argparse, and I'll go over how this is integrated with the PyPy distribution soon. Alrighty, so switching over to the code editor, so it's a little bit more visually appealing. Uh, I have several files I wanna go over that are actually very important to your own code distribution. First one being, what type of license? This just like governs how people should use your code and you know what limitations there are. In this case, I just have MIT, so you can you know, feel free to merge it or do whatever you want to do with it. Uh, next one, make file. So for all my Mac users or perhaps Linux users, if you are looking to help, you know, develop, this just helps, you know, with your code processes a little bit more with your code fatigue and all that. If you just execute, make install, make format or make lens, this will just execute those commands related to that particular, you know, variable that you've associated. Next one, manifest.in, very important. This just makes sure to include the files as part of your distribution when you are running it. So that make sure not to forget those files. That's pretty much what that is doing. I'm just including versioneer. So let's go ahead and look at versioneer. All you can do is just like, you know, pip install versioneer. And what this is doing is that it's just keeping track of your versions and it just automates that process and it helps your life a lot. Next one, let's go Pi Toml or your Pi Project Toml. This is just a setting that helps your configuration process. And this is not entirely flushed out because setup.config sort of you know does the same exact thing where I have you know that build system and I just flush this out a little bit more. Pretty much what these files are doing is that it's helping out with this setup pi file over here you know with the distribution you know aiding in that distribution. I mean I'm just having some additional metadata I'm having more metadata, I'm having you know some specifications for what version you're gonna be doing, and I have some additional helpful configurations. So let's look at the brains of this entire operation being setup.py. And this is just like one large function with a variety of parameters. Uh, I'm not gonna go uh, line by line, but these two lines are in particular like very important. Packages, this is where all of your source modules are located, in this case, my YTAD. All of my source files are located there and I'm just pointing to those source modules. Over here, uh, very important, if you want to include an executable and distribute this, I've included a console script where once you actually, you know, pip install this particular package and if you run UVD, you actually be running a function right out of the command line. And this will make a little bit more sense when I'm actually going to be doing it. Uh, but, you know, pointing to update notifications and the function main over here, uh, this is what is pointing to. So I got YTAD, YTAD, CLI, CLI, update notifications, update notifications, and main. And UVD actually executes that. Before you begin with distributing code, you need to create accounts for both the main and test PyPy websites. 
These are the distribution services where anyone can pull down your code. And once you do that, go ahead and create an API token for each one so you can actually push up your code. Alrighty, and once you have all of your accounts already set up, let's now go through the process. So over here, I'm just pulling up my terminal. I'm gonna be activating my specific environments. Um, now with that, what you wanna do, let's go ahead and do like a pip install-r requirements. I already have all my files already pre-downloaded, but it just goes ahead and goes and downloads all the associated developer packages over here. Next thing you want is to install Twine, pip install Twine. I already have that installed, but this is helping with your distributions and all that. Okay, now let's go ahead and check out uh, pip install dash e with a period. This installs all of your associate, uh, well, it looks like your setup pi uh, file, and installs your source modules over here, and it's going ahead and downloading and then making all of your files more or less importable uh, as ytad over here. And as we can see, we don't want this particular string. Dirty means all of these values are not committed, which they are not, we'll be committing that very soon. And the plus one with period with all these other string that follows after is how many commits there are um, that are after. So let's go ahead and stage everything. And then this is gonna be version 0 0.0.8. Let's go ahead and commit that. And if we run pip install dash e of a period once more, the dirty should not be a part of here. And after a little bit, the dirty has disappeared because we already committed all of our changes. Now to get rid of this portion right here, uh, this is just two commits ahead. And what we want to do is just to add a tag. So it'll just be git tag 0 0.0.8. And this could just be you know, entirely different from uh, what type of other versioning scheme you have going on in your end. But I already tested this thoroughly. This could be the next iteration of my uh, specific package. And so once we go ahead and pip install this again, the new version of YTAD will be, drumroll please, 0.0.8. And this is gonna be the version that's gonna be pushed to the test branches and also the uh, main branch related to PyPy. Now, once everything is, you know, to your uh, standard, you know, you have your specific nomenclatures, everything's ready. Next thing you wanna do, in this case, I already have versioneer, but you wanna do versioneer install. Uh, this just goes ahead and populates uh, this version of uh, that pi file, it populates that and it looks like you're in it and it populates this. So that's pretty much what that is doing there. But yeah, once you run that, the next part you want to do is to run your wheels. So we have python setup.py file and then this just goes ahead and creates the distribution files and we'll see that very soon or where it's just essentially copying all of your files on over and if we look at distribution uh, as you can see i have a lot of versions going on over here but it creates your wheel file and it creates a tar file as well but before we actually push up our files to PyPy, we want to go ahead and check if the nomenclature is actually acceptable. So you want to run twine, uh, check distribution with a star, and everything has passed, which is good. But in particular, you want to check out your 0.0.8 or your essentially your most recent files that you are going to be pushing up over here so that has passed as well so with that in mind i already have some code on this side over here but we are going to be uploading twine upload dash dash repository test pi pi distribution ytad 0.0.8 with a star go ahead and do that and then this is where your tokens come into play um and i already have that and i have my uh, token password already located very neatly over here but then you know once you enter in your password you can go to this link over here for your test to pull that up real quick over here and this is your test pi pi so what you want to do as you can see this is a, a separate instance that you can just test out your modules and see if they actually are being distributed properly let's go ahead and copy that and let's open up a separate terminal in this case i have it um, as test you want to follow all of your other arrangements, but essentially, let's look at the Python version. I have Python uh, 3.8 over here, and let's do a real quick pip list. 
and it starts to see all of our associated files. We already have 0 0.0.7.2, but we are just gonna be going ahead and use this environment uh, it's just to test our, our stuff. And so yeah, as you can see, we have already a uh, JSON file with our client secret web app in our token, which is actually necessary for this particular module to run successfully. So let's go ahead and look at that. It's basically this, like, the same exact folder structure. Uh, that's where it's located. But nonetheless, you want to you know go ahead and copy, which I think I already did, but let's do that one more time. Let's pip install this 0 0.0.8. Oh. Let's try to do that again. Sometimes, yeah, you have to do it twice uh, so that it's, you know, trying to query that. Let's do another pip list over here, 0.0.8. Now, the moment of truth, let's go ahead and execute Python. Actually, so let's go ahead from YTAD authentication, import authenticate. There we go. Let's copy and paste, refresh and token. It's good to go. So that was able to be imported. Now, the moment of truth, I wanted to see is the command line. Uh, this is very interesting over here. As you can see, uvd-h, this is just helping out. These are all the parameters that are associated with this. And we can, it looks like everything's good to go. We can just do a uvd, and this is my YouTube ID, but notice over here when I actually run it, ooh, I got my data was populated over here, and voila, it works as brand as new. It's retrieving all my necessary files, and then once it has all my files, let's go ahead and start the updating process, and voila, I can manually go through uh, each one of my specific packages. So let's say no for now, and that is looking pretty good. So let's go ahead and go back to our original module, and Let's go ahead and see how we can actually push this to the original main branch. Pretty much the exact same process though. Um, instead of pushing up to your test pi, you're gonna be pushing up to pi pi. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> um, and so since with your, within your actual, you also gotta have a separate password, but within your actual, um, you know, your testing phases and all that, test pi pi is extremely instrumental when you are, you know, testing your distribution package, packages to see if there's any errors or any issues. So let's go ahead and check that out. Let's pull up, um, let's pull up this over here, go to the main, this is the official website, uh, pip install over here. Now let's go back to our command terminal prompt over here. Uh, we want to install that. Oh, need to copy it. There we go. Pip install YTAD 0.08. Go ahead and install that. And everything is looking pretty good. Let's do a pip list. As we can see, 0 0.0.8, but it's from the main branch. And let's go ahead and delete this folder. And let's and let's run that again. Let's do UVD that's H just to get all the parameters. And then let's go ahead and run that. And as we can see. Everything's looking pretty good. We have our data folder already pre-populated over here. And let's not continue with the update process, but everything looks good to go. And our YTAD has been updated. And we, as we can see with the release history, less than 20 seconds, we got 0 0.08 going on here over here. And that my friends is how you actually distribute your code on PyPy.